my religious background, I was raised Catholic. My parents went to Catholic school. I went to Catholic school when I was in grade school. We were all about it. We went to this Catholic church where mass basically consisted of who looked the best, and it was a little fashion show, and you know, it was all pomp and circumstance. And my parents were like, fuck this. So around 7th or 8th grade, we just stopped going to church, and I've pretty much been an atheist since. Uh, the word is heathen? A godless heathen. <laughs> <laughs> I don't believe in any of this shit. Every once in a while, in my weakest, weakest moments, I'm like, well, it could be true. <laughs> That's why they say there's no atheists in foxholes. I just spent two weeks in the hospital. I went for one thing, and what went totally wrong was life-threatening. It never crossed my mind, I'm going to die from this. But, you know, there was a lot of shit that can go wrong. And not once did I think, okay, God, just get me through this. I'll eat right. I'll exercise. I'll praise your name. I'll quit saying God damn it 84 times a day. <laughs> <laughs> when I went in for my hernia surgery. Before I went into surgery, I was just like, you know what? I'm not saying any prayers. If I never wake up again, I never wake up again. The night before, they give you these links that you go to online and watch about your surgery. They have little videos that are basically intended to scare you out of your mind. One of the dangers was that condition when you're awake and you feel pain, but you can't do anything about it. The legal term for that is malpractice. Because I'm suing somebody. <laughs> right, right. So they're like, if you use illicit street drugs, your chance of this happening is tripled. This is back in the day when I'm smoking that shit. I got high at like midnight on Sunday, had a doctor's appointment at 8 o'clock Monday, and I was in surgery 8 o'clock Tuesday, and I had nothing but that shit in my system. So believe me, it was on my mind. I didn't think about it. Please, God, I'll never smoke again. I won't do any of this. <laughs> <laughs> My priest was one of the pedophiles who went to jail, and I went on a retreat with them. We were playing the Stones over and over. You know, we all got in our underwear, and we're dancing around doing Shattered. And he was just sitting there, like, watching us. He was all happy, but he didn't do anything. <laughs> <laughs> but when I found out he was buggering the boys and went to jail, I was like, well, he never tried anything on me. What's wrong with me? That's just a vanity problem. <laughs> Think about how different your life could have been. You would have got right. some kick-ass gifts. He would have sprinkled you with his holy water and you'd have been anointed for life. I was a type who would just run away. You can't run from God, son. If God wanted to get me, I would have been God a long time ago. <laughs> oh, he's a cooking something, though. <laughs> <laughs>